It's what ski resorts like to see. A lot of snow. This is a good year. This is one of the epic years and it just keeps coming. Maybe a little too much. You can see we're pretty high up and we're buried. Sierra at Tahoe was one of many mountains closed today. Even the mountain operations crew had a tough time getting here this morning because of the conditions. White, couldn't see, it was complete white out. We couldn't get into parking spots, they had to clear us. All just to get started to make sure this place is ready for skiers and snowboarders as soon as possible. People like Sierra Lopes and Isaac Hernandez, who started with some sledding today before the big day tomorrow. We're going to go snowboarding. Yeah, we're going to go snowboarding for my birthday on the 6th. For the first time. I'm going to try to go down one of the biggest hills. And so I think I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, so I'm going to need a lot of luck. A lot of luck for him after a lot of work for them. Yeah, the wind. The wind is definitely the biggest challenge. Michael Frazier is senior lead yes. ski patroller at wow. Sierra at Tahoe. This season's been pretty intense, especially since this snow follows a fire that transformed the landscape here. We are dealing with a new ski area um, after all the logging that happened. It's uh, like a whole new mountain. Yeah, we're this is the newest ski area in, in California. And while workers try to get it back open safely, Frazier just asks for patience. We're giving it all we got to, to give our skiing public some good product. Here in Pollock Pines, the snow has been falling throughout the day. You can see the layer on top of this SUV. And just east of here, Sierra Tahoe says for tomorrow they do plan to open, but it will be a delayed opening as those crews try to dig out of more than a foot and a half of snow within about 48 hours. And that's on top of the snow that already came down before that. Here in Pollock Pines, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News.